I am Jen Collins. I am VP of Learning and Development for Advantage Marketing Partners, the Culture and Commerce Group for Advantage Solutions. I would definitely recommend the workshop in addition to reading the book. And here's why. It's, it's really this collaborative process. So not only do you have an opportunity to go deeper into the sections of the book, but you also have this guided process to apply immediately what you're learning and then share that experience with others. So essentially, you're taking the principles of the LCD model and applying it to your own learning of the LCD model, which is pretty amazing. And um, also just the connectivity that you have with those in your cohort is amazing. I've made already a few lifelong friends and I continue to foster my relationship with them as we support learning and development and in our own organizations. I am actually new to my learning and development role at my company. I've been doing it part-time for as part of my role in business leadership and marketing, but I really wanted to find a way to take the model and learn it and interact with it, and particularly with the author uh, herself. And so once I heard about the opportunity to take the course, I immediately dove in. And it was actually after I had read the book twice, because <laughs> I read it once all the way through, and then another time, just kind of chapter by chapter as I was updating our learning programs. Definitely. I think the biggest thing that we are struggling with as an organization is we have a number of learning programs already in place. And so not only did the program allow me to establish modern learning principles for our future programs, but it gave me the tools in order to take our existing programs and find ways to update them and make them more relevant and for the learner and keeping them at the center of our learning campaigns and and activities. One of the biggest aha moments that I had was the similarity to how we tackle marketing and what we do in LND uh, through the LCD model. So in marketing, we focus predominantly on understanding what is our strategic objective. So that's our SPO. Um, who is our target audience? Who, so who's our target learner? How do we design for a variety of marketing touch points so we engage our consumer across the consumer buying journey? Same thing with our, our learners. And so all of those things were really very transferable for me, and it, it helped me better understand how to really make sure that we're designing programs to impact the learner along their journey in the flow of work to really impact um, their behavior on the job and uh, support those business goals. We actually implemented uh, the, the learning cluster that I designed in the course, which was everyday business storytelling. And it was really great because I, through the course, I was able to identify a variety of assets, both formal, immediate, and social. And we were able to meet the learners where they were in their own journey of how to tell stories in PowerPoint. And so we've already put those into practice and seen great results from the team on ways in which they can kind of learn in a way that is meaningful to them in and out of the flow of work. I would recommend the workshop to not only seasoned L&D professionals, but also those that are thinking of transitioning to learning and development, or perhaps in the first uh, year or two in their learning and development role. So many of the skills and characteristics that are required in L&D are transferable from other disciplines. And what the LCD model provides is this easy to digest and understand and apply framework that helps you apply and take those characteristics that you already know in whatever discipline you're in and, and apply it to L&D in a very meaningful way. And it also is a very iterative process. So what's awesome about it is that it meets you where you are and wherever you uh, need to go. So if you're taking programs and just trying to update them, or you're trying to take programs and build them from the ground up, this is a great model to use uh, to foster that development. I 
would say if you're getting hesitation from your leader to fund the workshop or dedicate time to attend the workshop, I'd say the fact that it is actually a living, breathing assignment that you can do the work in the workshop and it is immediately applicable on the job. So it's a two week course. And throughout that, after each touch point and each assignment, I was able to immediately affect change on the job. And then in the end, I had a completely packaged up uh, learning cluster design uh, that leveraged the LCD model, which was pretty amazing. And I was able to immediately sell it into leadership and begin executing it for the organization. If everyone adopted the model, I think what we would see would be a drastic improvement in where L&D is in the priority of how we dedicate time and resources in the workplace. Learning and development is something that we all do every day and we need to do to continue to be competitive and to meet our business goals. And in order to do that, we need to be efficient and effective in doing that. And so what this model allows us to do is really bring it all together. And no matter if it's a very small skill that we need to hone or a very complex, this is a tool that is very easy to apply and can really support our organizations and elevate how we're supporting on-the-job behavior changes that tie back to business results. The LCD model and the book has become my Bible. I uh, keep it next to my desk. It is a forever staple on my, my table, and I reference it constantly. And I think that as long as we continue to be open and you know asking ourselves those tough questions of what does the learner need, how does this tie to business results, really uh, probing in that strategy, and then leveraging the components of this model, we can do really great things with L&D in the future.